My dear friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's practice is for shoulders, for your neck, and we will add one pranayama at the end. But before we start, let me show you one amazing product. The Zuvi Hello, a hair dryer inspired by the nature. And I'm more than sure that for everyone who is taking care about your look, about nature and about health, it will be amazing stuff to use. So let's open up the box and have a look how it designed and what is inside. So the tool itself, the hair dryer, have the white spectrum modulate light and the front mirror. It's very light and pleasantly holding. It have three different uh, modes to strain your hair straight to make your hair curly and it's very easy to adjust it by the magnet so it's working simply as that beautiful so let's try how it's working let's get started gentle hair attachment which is looking like this on the semi wet hair and without any brush let's go on the fast or soft mode Zuvi Hello works pretty silently and it's so pleasant to use it this nature inspired technology leaves my hair shiny and healthy and I feel that it's still hydrated. It uses much less energy than a normal hair dryer and provides a lot of care for the natural and colored hair. And what I like a lot that there is no need to use any special protecting cosmetics for my long hair. It just taking care by itself. It's absolutely must have for the ladies who dream to grow long, healthy and shiny hair. And I love result. It's moisture for the hair and double shine without any cosmetics or forts. Zoe Hello is my favorite. Let's say the planet together. So, dear friends, please sit on the mat with any position it will be comfortable for you. It can be Padmasana, half lotus, extended knees or half banded. It's up to you. Keep your spine straight and find your breath in your tummy. With inhalation, roll your shoulders back, clue it together and drop it down. Your chin firmly to your heart center. Breathe deeply from your tummy. Try to calm your mind. Let's make in one big circle to the right. Try to point all the spots. Touch your chest with exhalation. One ear touching the shoulder. And with inhalation, try to bring your head behind. Concentrate only on your breath. You may close your eyes to feel more comfortable or keep it open. It's up to you. One more circle, very gently and very slowly. Try to feel the side neck muscle extending it very slowly. From here, drop your chin down and let's go to the opposite side. Continue making the circles. The slower you make it, the better it is. For your neck vertebrae, neck muscles, and for your décolleté zone. Couple more times. Bringing it really firmly Pointing the spots 
behind and in front your body with your chin. From here, let's make the last round and bring yourself back to the sitting neutral position. Clue your chin down. With inhalation back to the center. Hold the concentration on the mid brows. Close your eyes. Bring index and thumb together and extend other three fingers. Try to reach the mat. Shoulders firmly together, shoulder blades and drop it down. Continue breathing. Stabilize your breath and with every inhalation try to make it longer. From here, clue your chin down and continue breathing. Try to make your prana circulated from the nose to your navel. Don't bring it lower, just very close. Your chin to your heart center, engage your pelvic floor and try to make really nice inhalation and exhalation. Bring your back to the neutral. With inhalation, both palms together. Interlace your fingers together and extend all the spine gazing up. Make it really long spine. Continue breathing. With exhalation, back to the neutral. From here, bring one ear to your shoulder and try to clue it as firmly as you can. With inhalation back to the neutral. And very gently when you are ready, clue the opposite ear to the same shoulder. Remember to keep your palms firmly on the mat. And don't hold your breath, continue breathing freely from your tummy. Back to the neutral, clue your chin down to your heart center. And if the pressure is, you, is okay, interlace arm behind your head and try to create the pressure which is comfortable for you today. Bring in the elbows inward. And gently continue breathing. Me, I will slowly rotate myself so you can see the asana properly. From here, keep your glutes firmly on the mat. Bring your right arm up, interlace with your shoulder, with your elbow and drop it behind your back. Try to reach with the palm your shoulder blades with the opposite arm, interlace, palms together. Take a deep breath, with exhalation, try to move to the right. Extend your shoulder and continue breathing. Gently unlock the posture, be very gentle with your arms, flex the palms, exhale, moving to the one side, take a deep breath in the mid and exhale opposite side. Try imagine like you are pushing the wall with one palm at a time. Couple of more times. Feel your side waist muscle your hips if you are sitting in the Padmasana and very gently when you are ready let's go to the other side 
This time it's going to be your left hand. Grab your elbow and try to bring your left palm to reach your blades. With the opposite arm, try to make the lock behind your back. Take a deep breath and exhale very gently. Stay here for a couple of breaths and continue slower in the breath, calming yourself with the positive thoughts. From here, let's rotate to the left. Take a deep breath and with exhalation move all your core to the left. Try to open your heart center as much as you can. From here back to the neutral. Once again me, I'm gonna change the position. You stay in the same. Yogis, if you're advanced, try to keep Padmasana as long as you can. From here we're going to the side. Bring your shoulder down, if it's possible, if no, keep it extended. And extend the opposite arm. Remember to keep your glutes firmly on the mat. This is foundation of the posture. Gaze over the ceiling. To the ceiling. And try to stay here a bit more. Deepening the posture. Feeling how your hips your side waist muscle stretch inhale back to the neutral let's go to the other side step with your palm as much as you can and try to clue your shoulder down extend the opposite arm gazing under your armpit to the ceiling try to get connected with your body as much as you can Feel all the benefits of this posture. And very gently when you are ready, back to the neutral. We will finish today's practice with a breathing technique. Pranayama Kapalapahati. Which is the most simple. Try to imagine like in front of you there is a candle which you need to close with your nose. Exhale deeply and continue exhaling. Don't pay attention where you will take a breath. All the exhalation coming from your tummy. So let's get started very gently. Interlace arms in front of you, you will, you will need. And try to exhale two times a second. Working only with your tummy. For those who are doing this pranayama first time, it can be a bit challenging. If you will find it's hard to breathe, just take one deep breath and continue breathing. Two exhalation per second. Only your tummy. Try to keep your shoulders, your core in the static position. Just a bit more. Maybe a couple of minutes. Imagine like you are trying to reach with your navel the back of your spine. And in front of you is one candle which you need to close with your nose. Concentration on the mid brows and bring all attention inside of you. Feel how your core is working. On this stage, you have to feel it firmly working. Breathing deeply. Just a bit. That's well done. Inhale. And with exhalation, bring yourself to the fold position. 
stabilize your breath, relax your spine. Once again, inhale, palms up, gazing up. And with exhalation, once again, gently fold down. We're going to do one more time with inhalation all the way up. Extend your elbows, gazing up. And exhale, last time, we are going gently down. Last time, inhale. And one more time, exhale. Day will be beautiful. All the life is only in your hands. You are together with your body, with your soul, and with your mind, making one unity. And now, if you have time, just lay to Shavasana to relax totally. Namaste, my dear yogis. Wish you a fantastic day ahead full of love and joy.